in order for a widget to be available for you to use in your widget bar, it has to reside in either the user's widgets folder or the system's widget folder. Right now I have my user widget folder open and you'll see that the widget acronym finder is the only one in that folder, which is in the widgets folder, inside the library folder, inside the user folder. I have another widget application sitting here on my desktop and if I'd like to make that available to user Greg, I can drag that down in to Greg's widget folder. Now if I go down to my dashboard, open up the widgets bar, go to my next list of widgets, you'll see the TV tracker is now in my widget bar. If I'd like to make that widget available to all users on this machine, I need to put it in the systems widgets folder. And that resides within the widgets folder, inside the library folder, inside the drive that contains your system. In my case, Tiger is running from the volume called Applications. So in order to make my TV Tracker widget available to everyone, I'll drag it down into the Systems Widgets folder. It's still going to be available to me since I'm a user on this system. And now it will be available to any user who logs into this computer. So you can have widgets available only to particular users or to all users depending upon which widgets folder the application widget resides in. If I'd like to remove a widget, I just need to move it out of the widgets folder. Now my iTunes widget, the one I just removed, will no longer be available in the widgets bar.